So previous videos I've covered uh, the rectangle rock, which is done from a seated position where we keep the rectangle and we lift without distorting this rectangle like that or like this. So we're keeping that all intact, coming up on one hip, the other hip comes up nice and strong. Well, now we're going to apply that to a knee kneeling variation. So knees right under hip. I like to gauge at the ribs with my thumbs, pinkies at the hip or belt line, and we're just going to march back and forth with a little bit of hang time. One knee comes up, same side foot stays on the ground for now. Eventually you can pick that back foot off, but for now we're going to leave it down. So you're pumping the knees up, feet stay put, and we're just marching. I like to do 20 to 50 of these in my warm up, and it helps with glute medius activation and core stability. And obviously there's tons of progressions. So the first progression is hands at the chest, float, clear, return leg. So we go up into a kneeling, keeping that rectangle, it's very difficult. If this is too much, go back to the first variation. So again, notice how that rectangle is now over here. My head's acting like a pendulum in this exercise. It's over here. My eyes outline my knee in a straight line. That's where that float will occur. Eyes on either side of the knee, head above the knee. Think of sprouting your uh, head away from this knee and we're going back and forth here. So again, float. So you have to have a lot of, of hip stability for this one and core stability. Down hip has to be stable, up hip has to be mobile, core has to be stable. Floating it down. The next variation, I do a front rack and you can do this with a dumbbell five to 20 pounds, this is an 18 pound kettlebell, and you can do your marches like this, increasing hang time. Notice my eyes are not necessarily right over my knees in this one because that weight's gonna offset. So wherever your head needs to go to get a little floating and hang time on the knee, keeping those feet down, nice and stable through here. Come up. Keeping that core rigid. And again, this weight can be as light or as heavy as we need it to be. No movement through here, all in the hip. And we could do that on the other side. The last progression would be carrying this weight up here. We uh, are working on this in the Ultra Vibe University uh, carry with uh, Brian. Um, you can find his link on YouTube. but. What we do, well, before we start there, we go here with the front rack, and then you just roll the elbow up to the air till that kettlebell sinks on the back. So we find that there, and it just rests nice and effortlessly. I could almost take my hand away, but it would go back behind me. So nice shoulder balance, making that weight one part with you. So initially, keeping this core nice and strong, Hang time. Again, if the weight feels like it's going to pull you over, um, come out of the posture quickly, something like that. Um, and if you absolutely need to, chuck the weight if you think it's going to hit your foot. Make sure you get that weight as far away from you as possible. And again, add the return. And this is surprisingly harder than it looks. So go through those progressions, see how far you can get and how strong you can feel in the core, how little movement you can have in the core. And you can also play with all those progressions and regressions with wider is harder, narrower is easier. So try marching, see how wide you can go and then returning. How wide you can go and returning, keeping that core nice and stable. All right, so try those out and let me know how they go.